was last heard from at 11.30 a.m. on May the 2nd, 2008, when a neighbor spoke to her via telephone at her residence in the 38,800 block of State Highway 1036 in rural Livingston Parish, Louisiana. She said she was cleaning out her kitchen cupboards and she has never been heard from again. When her nephew checked her house, the front door was wide open, the windows were open, Barbara's phone was lying on the floor with the battery pulled out. Pots were stacked on the kitchen floor and valuables were left out in plain view. It didn't appear that there had been a robbery. Once deputies arrived at the scene, they saw no entry that was forced and they also noted that the back door was open. A torrential rainstorm hampered search efforts that day and in the days that followed with the entire area covered in water. Authorities did find her vehicle, a 2006 Toyota Camry at approximately 4.15 that day about a quarter mile north of her residence parked on a hunting club road in a wooden area out of the sight of the main road. There was water on the floor of the vehicle, possibly from the heavy rains that had occurred in the area. The car keys were half buried in the gravel about 20 yards from the car. Once the weather improved, the sheriff's office, along with volunteers, canvassed the entire area, searching the waterways and wooded areas for any signs as to what may have happened. LPSO detectives interviewed everyone with a possible connection to Blount, and Louisiana State Police and the FBI also helped the sheriff's office chase every single lead. The search continued for several weeks without any answers, and the sheriff's office has pleaded with the public almost every May since for any information they might have. Teams traveled to Holden, Louisiana, to begin searching for Barbara. After four days of searching in the heat and standing waters from recent floods, TSE members, team members suspended the efforts for searching for Barbara and are awaiting any new information or leads to help find Barbara. A special thank you to their dedicated members for their help. A witness reported having seen a woman matching Barbara's description standing outside Barbara's car that day, wearing a tank top, pinstripe shorts, and purple Crocs. There was a Caucasian man standing near her, and a late model white pickup truck was parked nearby. The witness was so troubled by the frightened expression on Barbara's face that he called Crime Stoppers. Barbara is a widow and lived alone at the time of her disappearance, but she kept in regular touch with her relatives and her disappearance is out of character. Her two children lived on the same road as herself, and she still cooked dinner for them every day. As well as driving her sister to medical appointments, she lived quietly and was active in her local Baptist church. She is described as being a cautious individual who didn't open her door to strangers and carried a gun with her when she went outside to milk the cows. Her credit cards haven't been used since she was gone missing and investigators believe that she was taken against her will. It is unclear whether the accident that occurred four years earlier with her husband is tied to Barbara's disappearance. In June 2004, the death of her husband, 55-year-old Henry Eel Jr. Blount Jr., happened when he was struck by a train while driving a gasoline tanker truck over the tracks. Two railroad employees were also killed in the accident and members of the locomotive unit union blamed Junior for it and said the two railroad employees had been murdered. More than decades have gone by and Livingston Parish jo Sheriff J Jason Ard is still hoping new clues can shed light on a missing persons case that has troubled detectives and haunted the locals. We continue to work with the Blunt family and follow new leads, he says, but we need your help. Blount's daughter, Christy Thompson, said, I just want to say that if anyone out there knows anything, please come forward. We need answers. That's what we need. My mother was a Sunday school teacher at Magnolia Baptist Church, a wonderful Christian woman who couldn't wait to have grandchildren. Foul play is suspected and Barbara's disappearance, but little evidence is available in her case and it remains unsolved. Barbara Ann Blount, a white female, was born on March the 29th, 1950, and was 58 years of age when she went missing. She is 5 feet 6 inches tall and weighed approximately 140 pounds, with graying brown hair and hazel green eyes. She wears eyeglasses and her ears are pierced. Her maiden name is Barbara. If you have any information on this case, please contact the Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office at 225-938-4323. Or if you'd like to remain anonymous, please contact Crime Stoppers at 225-344-STOP. That's 